So how many times has this happened to you? You go to the grocery store meaning to buy one thing and you come out with a whole cart full of things. It's not just because you're hungry. Grocery stores have clever methods to make sure shoppers buy more than they planned on. Bob Hansen explains. The checkout line is the moment of truth for many shoppers. Did we spend more or less than we'd planned on? If you're spending more, maybe the store is to blame. And we are being manipulated. Well, I wouldn't use the word manipulated, uh, but there's a certain amount of what we call social engineering. Marketing well, professor well. David Stewart of UC Riverside is an expert in consumer behavior. He says nothing in your grocery store is there by chance, and that includes you. They observe people from the time they walk into the store to the time they walk out. They, they develop patterns of, sh of shopping. Uh, they look at how people move through the store and they compare that to what people actually bought at the counter. Uh, it's a real science. Have you noticed that stores want you to enter from the right side? Studies have found that shoppers who go counterclockwise spend 7% more on groceries. Of course, grocery stores are known for placing staples like milk, bread, and eggs in the back of the store, so you'll pick up something more along the way. You check out the competition. Yeah, all the time. Dirk Stump followed his father into the supermarket business, and while his family markets don't have the big research budget of the major grocery stores, he says they still look for an edge to bring in business. That's all about sales. Now, we all want to look good when we have our picture taken. The same thing with products in a store. How the items are lit can make a big difference whether you'll buy them or not. If you have the wrong color lights, the reds won't come out, the yellows, oranges, everything will look dull, um, like it's dusty. And uh, with the right lighting, everything kind of pops out. Good lighting can also bring out the freshness appearance of the meat. Another important trick is getting shoppers to stop. Some stores actually install small speed bumps or textured floors to get you to slow down. A lot of the end caps and a lot of the aisle uh, displays are really intended not just to, to display the product, but they often cause you to have to stop. And when you stop, you spend. Those end caps are also often priced below cost. A loss leader, they're called. But the store doesn't plan on losing money. Bring them in with your ad items and hopefully they do a whole shopping trip with you. Product placement is always a factor. Staples like flour and sugar don't get the best placement. You'll buy them anyway. But soft drinks and cereals are placed at eye level where it's more competitive. Finally, there's the whole shopping experience. Stores want you to leave with a positive emotion. That's why the pleasant lighting, the mood music, and why those club cards are so popular. And then they tell you, and today you saved, you know, $10. Oh, wow, I'm a great shopper. I saved $10. Well, maybe or maybe not, but, but it reinforces the notion that, that you're, you're a good shopper and we all want, want to feel competent. You know, that story was funny to me because it really opened my eyes because I always view the grocery stores as a grocery store. It's where you pick up food, but really it's a business. Just like oh, car sales absolutely. or anything else, they want your money. And that's basically the bottom line. I'm a sucker for <laughs> advertising. The right type of ad advertising, mm -hmm. you know, the right type of commercial pulls me in. So it makes sense. <laughs> I mean, I will buy things if it has the big orange sticker on it. I am one of those people. So they're doing <laughs> a good job. the deal. Yeah, it makes sense. And they also say one way to make sure you kind of avoid the influence of being sucked into all this is to make sure you make a list. Okay, decide what you're going to buy before you walk into the store and stick to it. You're less likely to be influenced by all the displays, lighting, and bumpy floors. <laughs> There's a lot more of KPVI News 6 today still to come.